Hey, what's going on, everybody? Bonjour. <laughs> so we have made it to the very busy port over here in very, Southampton very in the UK, and we are boarding the brand new Carnival Celebration. We'll be one of the first out of thousands of passengers on, and I got to say, I did not think that there would be this many people here. And I'm pretty sure out of all these people, I'm the only French person around. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when we get on board. <laughs> so the first order of business is to drop off our bags. But I gotta say, this place is not like Miami at all. You have to kind of hunt down a porter in order to drop off your bag. So it's been a little hectic for a lot of people here. And also, we've been informed that they're doing a ship inspection. Kind of popped it up last minute according to the, the porters. They're saying it could be anywhere from an hour to up to eight hours before they start having embarkation once again for the ship. So we have thousands of people that are just kind of waiting to see what happens. So it's been a little bit confusing. Nobody knows where the start of the line is. Is this it? Is this the start of the line? <laughs> I guess we'll see in a minute. <laughs> All right, so far so good. We've made it inside the terminal. Okay, we're moving along. So far so good. They said they're going to be the best part of the cruise before we even get on board. What's your name? I'm Karen. Nice to meet you, Karen. Are, are you going to be on board too? No. Oh. I get it. She's too cool for the ship. And you are? Jessica. Karen and Jessica. Guys, remember them. Say hi to them in the comments. The coolest people here. <laughs> Sir, that is the nicest jacket I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you guys aren't believe it. She said I look like Kobe Bryant. Yes, you do. You do I look like Kobe Bryant? Let me know in the comments. We are officially checked in. We are in boarding group H3. Whatever that means. So we're waiting in the terminal with about the entire ship, as you can see. Unfortunately, it is out of the cruise line's control. They had an unexpected, unannounced last minute ship inspection where they have to inspect the entire ship. They told us it could be anywhere to an hour, up to eight hours, but they don't think it'll come to that. Like I said, out of control of the cruise lines, it happens. Finally, the time is upon us. We are in line. They've called our boarding group H3. It's time to board the brand new Carnival Celebration. It's gone full TSA on us. Laptops out, shoes off. All right, I'm joking, not the shoes. Let's do it. <laughs> and we are officially on board the Carnival Celebration. We made it. <laughs> Guys, this is the gentleman that I was telling you about. This is my boy, Michael. I haven't seen you in, how many years has it been? It's been, well, since what, like 2015? At least. 2015, it's been a long time, all right? Yes. But this is the best pianist you will ever see in your life, <laughs> hands down. <laughs> that was so cool. So my friend Michael is the vocal supervisor for every show on board. So him and I are going to get dinner at some point and hang out and catch up. So cool. Anyway, we got to check into our muster station. So we got to go to C6. 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 <laughs> That'll be Lauren later. I hope not. I think we're going in the right direction, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. Oh, look at this setup. This is very similar to the Carnival Mardi Gras. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. The Carnival Kitchen. We've got Emerald's Bistro. And down the way we have Latitudes. Oh, look at this. How cool. <laughs> we feel so dumb the whole time. Our check-in muster station was right over here. We've passed by this area at least five times. That's us. Scanned in and we're good to go. So since it's Lauren's first cruise, she has to learn how to put on the life jacket properly. Now, we gotta go check into our room, drop our bags off and do some more exploring. Look at that, our bags are already waiting for us. Okay, Carnival. Lauren, do the honors. Yep. Here we go. Let's see what we're working with in here. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we're working with out here. Oh, not bad. Now I'm not gonna show you guys the entire cabin right now. I am going to do a full cabin tour from top to bottom for all of you coming up. So all the more reason for all of you to subscribe. So Lauren and I have gone our separate ways. Not like that. We both do social media. So she has recording to do, I have recording to do, and we'll meet up later on after we shower and get ready for dinner and all that. But for now, we're gonna go do some more exploring. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this casino while we're here. Cause unfortunately when it does open, I won't be able to record. Give you guys a good look. So this is literally the same layout as the sister ship of the Carnival Celebration. I'm talking, of course, about the Carnival Mardi Gras. Pretty nice size for the casino here on board. By the way, in case you guys are wondering, that side is the smoking side of the casino. And this opposite of that right over here is non-smoking. Just so you guys know, I will be doing a full cruise ship tour while I'm here as much as I hate doing them. But uh, next up, we do have the Grand Spectrum theater. They do have a mustard drill currently going on in here, so I'll be quiet, but here's a little scan of the theater. Not bad. You got Chebang, 
Now, I did the review on that place last time I was there. It was okay, not my favorite, but the food was overall pretty good. Oh yeah, I forgot about Havana Bar. This place here is legit. The Latin nights here, when they got the, the musicians and the band, absolutely a good time. Look at how beautiful this design is. I love how they structured all this. So you have one, two, and three decks, six, seven, and eight to view any of the entertainment going on down that way. Here's everybody's favorite bar, Alchemy Bar, and it's already packed. And this bar here will continue to be packed for the entire cruise. Do you see how packed Alchemy Bar is? It will not catch a break the entire cruise. That is the most popular bar here for a fact. So much to see, so little time. Well, I got two weeks, but let's keep it moving. Little tip guys, do not go to guest services as soon as you get on the ship unless you absolutely need to. Look at how packed this is. It doesn't matter if you need Wi-Fi, you gotta check out some incidentals, add something. I would suggest you wait until all of this calms down. It's crazy to me how many people of all different age demographics are on board this inaugural sailing. I thought this was gonna be more relaxed. A lot less, and maybe some seasoned people sprinkled here and there, but geez, oh, it's a lot of people. First of all, we have this amazing man with a Ship Life shirt represent, but look at the size of these cones. Is this, is this part of Carnival slimming down, or what, what is, is that what that is? No, they said it's because they can get these cones in your ear, and they will get different cones in my ear. Oh, uh, okay, so. These are the European cones. They're European cones, okay, so then we get the American size when we get to Miami. Yes, yes. Okay, no, that, that's fair, that makes sense. So I've been trying to find my girlfriend Lauren, I checked the room, she's not there, and the Wi-Fi isn't working yet, so we have no way to communicate with each other. But right now, we are getting ready to go do the sail away party, so hopefully she's up there. Let's see how long these elevators take. It is embarkation day, so it might be a little while. Up we go. This looks fun. <laughs> wow. Not bad. While the sailway party is going on with all of that copyright music, let's go explore some more of the ship. Unfortunately, it is a cold, wet, rainy day here in Southampton, UK, but it is what it is. As you can see, we got a basketball court and they also turn it into a soccer field thing as well. We got the obstacle course as well, which I will be indulging in. It looks like so much fun. First, we got the golf course. I'm going to be beating Lauren over here and Bolt. I will be doing a first person view of my GoPro. Give you guys a full visual of the roller coaster on board the carnival celebration. ship is out here. This is pretty wild. Having a good time so far. Not bad, right? Look, I always say it, there is no cruise line that does it like Carnival when it comes to the sail away. Such a good time. While we're up here, we're going to check out Club 02 before it opens. <laughs> Look at this. Now, I have no shame in admitting the fact that I'm very jealous of this area, the O2. Look at that, they got PlayStations here, they've got Xbox, they got all the favorite games here. Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Call of Duty. Now this is the teen club and they have a really, really, really nice setup in here. Okay, so we have officially sailed away. It's a little dark, so there's not much to see out there right now, but we're all showered, cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and find some dinner. Hey there, how you feel? Good, so good. So for dinner, we're keeping it simple. We're not going to the main dining room. We're either gonna go to Shack, the big chicken. I just call it Shack's. <laughs> Guy's burger or the buffet. Which one do you want? I don't want burgers. Come on, you... look at me, look at me. I need to be careful. <laughs> what is she talking about? What are you waiting for? Press the button. Know. Oh, this is just like the Mardi Gras. The door is so weird. You gotta push the button to get out, but if two people are trying to get out, you barely see them. It becomes a little problematic. Unfortunately, guys, burgers is closed. They close at 6 p.m., so buffet it is. Well, we made it. Didn't get lost this time. But where's the food? I don't, maybe, no, maybe it's just the other side. I don't think it's closed. So only like one section of the buffet is closed. Normally they do like one whole side. So we gotta have to go all the way down to the 
top right side of the buffet to get food. Smaller selection than I expected, but we have baked potatoes, rice, we have bassa filet, we have sweet and sour shrimp, vegetable lasagna. And on the other side, we do have roasted chicken and they also have quesadillas. Salad bar too with a pretty decent selection, not bad. And for dessert, looks like they got chocolate cake, some other kind of cake, peanut butter salted cookies. I'm guessing that's what that is back there. And maybe this is bread pudding, I'm not exactly sure. And they have fruit. Lauren, were you hungry? Look at her, she's going in right now. And then I have this. Look, I wanted some pizza or something, but Shaq's Big Chicken is closed, as well as Guy's Burger. I was legitimately surprised about that. This must be where the whole ship is, at the festival restaurant. Oh look, they're setting up for the karaoke. By the way guys, this is Limelight, so not only do they have karaoke and other events in here, this is also where they have the nightclub at night. Look at that, can't go wrong on a cruise with the classic steel drums. Mind if I do? I'll be completely honest with you guys. We're only here for the champagne. Cheers. Cheers, my love. Oh, this is the new area, 820 Biscayne. So this whole area is supposed to be like a Miami themed. We're just gonna walk through today, guys, but I promise we'll check this place out thoroughly while we're here. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Kim and she just told me some very interesting information. See, Kim here is from Australia. Have you guys heard of Vegemite? I have no idea what it was made out of until now. So what were you saying it's made out of? When they make beer, all okay. of the sludge and yeast at the bottom of the vats is what they use to make Vegemite. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Craft actually that... have trucks go in and get the yeast sludge mm -hmm. from the breweries. That sounds disgusting. And people eat that? Yes. Why? Because they're idiots. <laughs> wow. So since there wasn't a lot of options at the buffet, I'm going to go ahead and try the pizza here. Give it a try, Lauren. Let me hear the verdict. Is it better than Sorrento's? Or does MSC have better pizza? Because better that's all they're Sorrento. good at. Okay, better than Sorrento. The dough is better than on MSC. Mm -hmm. But your pizza looks not good. Mine? Oh, yeah, I guess it has seen better Mine days. Okay. Mine is okay. <laughs> celebration coins how cool so nobody hate me it's Lauren's fault mm -hmm. we were hanging out last night and I forgot to turn my mic back on when I turned it off to hang out with some people and well my videos for the rest of the night are muted however have no fear Lauren and I are here for two weeks it's currently a, a rocky sea day very very oh, rocky yeah. <laughs> Lauren wants to stay in bed all day I'm gonna go explore it a little bit so I have plenty of footage for you guys and well we'll go from there so just make sure you tune into this series here on board the carnival celebration and we'll have a good time I appreciate you guys hit that like button on your way out check out our sponsor touring plans join my patreon all the other good stuff subscribe if you haven't already I appreciate all of you I love you and I'll see you later take it, take it easy. easy I thought she was too tired to say that <laughs> take it easy that's my line